What is up guys, Tom here from Rings Reading, and today I'm bringing you the first episode in a potential series, and this series is going to be uh, learning Go Wipe, and I'm going to be pretty much just practicing my Go Wipe skills, because at the moment they're not that good, really. Yeah, actually, yeah, just really terrible. I can't 3 star Town Hall 9 with it, so uh, I'm just going to be practicing. So. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say to for the grand intro of the series. And uh, I'm going to be attacking some bases with go up. So my golems are only level 1, that could be part of it, but that I'm still uh, still got some fails. Anyway, uh, we're going to start off the video on uh, with a raid against this almost max town hall 9. And he goes by the name of Wicko. Or Witcho. Anyway, I have dropped almost all my troops. I I find that a lot of the time I forget to drop my heroes and witches and whatever I have that spare because I just like forget. I just focus on the peckers and it's really the heroes that do most of the damage. To be honest, because their abilities abilities are just so good. You'll see. I do use the king's ability maybe a bit early since there was already a rage spell covering him which is very sad that those do not stack but I I think I would have I we're saying that the ta clan castle is the town hall in this raid so I would have got the town hall because the king just killed it and yeah other than that as for some reason I just leave my archer queen to die and yeah I'm gonna fast forward it hopefully and let's just get on to the next raid so uh, you'll see here we've got another Town Hall 9, pretty good really, well not not a bad Town Hall 9. I'd say uh, it's kind of a new Town Hall 9 since it's got main, primarily Town Hall 9, Town Hall 8 defences, uh, you know the level 6 wizards, but it's not like it's got a level 1 wizard hanging around so it's not that new. But anyway, I, the mistake I make in this raid is I forget to drop the jump spell. And I think I wanted to save it for the way out, but yeah, I dropped the wall breakers way too late. So the queen is the only thing that goes into the center, which is kind of unusual, because normally it's the only thing that doesn't. But anyway, I do actually finally have a path to the center, and my king is just going in, taking stuff down. I used his ability because he was getting kind of low on health, which was kind of worrying. It's just I did this uh, strategy, this... Um, I dropped the peckers a bit too early because I was trying to kind of I've been trying to drop them a bit early because a lot of the time I'm down to mini golems by the time that I drop my peckers and I do uh, just wait for the queen to take out the dark elixir since that's mainly what I'm after and then I just end it I probably should have let it just go to see how uh, say, see how much I could have got because I I don't really mind too much if my queen dies. Yeah, I could have got that 3 star, but anyway, we'll just go on to the, to the next raid. And look here, um, we've got another Town Hall 9. He has like upgraded all of the expensive stuff, and he's left the cheap stuff till last, so good for him really. I don't have that patience, I just upgrade cannons and Teslas and all that. And my expos are only level 2, so that's very sad. But the golem does go off to the side, which is kind of kind of annoying. And we are down to mini golems. Well, that golem's completely dead, so we are kind of struggling a bit in this raid. And we, yeah, I this is my only tank, really. So he, he is working as a tank quite well. He's taking all the damage. And he is kind of low on health, though. So the I do... Bring Valkyries in this in this one and the last one actually because I bring uh, because they do help quite a lot in taking out the clan castle but I'm trying to switch the witches losing my lo losing my Valkyrie ways and I drop the jump spell just as the peckers break through the wall which is kind of pointless so <laughs> don't really know what I was doing there but we are gonna take down the town hall with the Valkyries, which are, I just think they look so cool. That's another reason why I use them. I don't care if it's any good or not, but they just look so cool when they attack and stuff. 
Uh, anyway, let's just see. There is uh, 45 seconds left on this attack for some reason, so I'm not sure why that is. I think I just tried to get as much percentage as possible. Yeah, we are, but we're going to end with a one star anyway, so I don't know why I did that. Anyway, dropping an archer, wizard. No, I can't take it out. Another wizard. Hey, let's get on to the next raid. Uh, yeah, I only got a one star in that one, which was kind of sad, but oh well. Live and learn, guys. Live and learn. So, the, this is the final raid of the video, I think, and we do have it against the Town Hall 10. So, it does have a multi inferno. I, I don't not I don't really care too much about multi infernos. I mean they do uh, they are annoying, but I don't think they're quite as dangerous like potentially as single targets. Although they are a lot more consistent. So oh yeah, that's pretty much why people use them. But against this strategy, uh, this strategy is probably better against multis. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I've, it's going all right so far. The wall breakers did get blown up burned by the inferno which is what is which is what I didn't want to happen which is like the reason that you know yeah it, I, what am I saying I don't know but I do drop the jump spell pointlessly I, I thought the peckers might go a bit further into the center but I guess not and well yeah they can can't quite make it for some reason peckers pathing is I think really weird because they kind of go halfway past a building before they actually hit it sometimes, which I just think is weird. I, I don't know. It's just maybe it's just because they're not lazy. But I do. The queen does die without using her ability because yeah, I've been finding that a lot really in these raids that that um, the heroes have been going around the side because I forget to drop them and they kind of uh, die without me using their abilities so I could have got the 50% that way which is really sort of annoying because it would make this raid look better but anyway that's pretty much all of the raids but something we could do at the end of it is what have we learned this video so pretty much just don't wait for your golems to die because your wizards are taking out all the trash buildings on the outside, don't uh, so because your heroes can get the two star if your peckers go around the outside. Uh, secondly, leave a raid to play out in clan wars. That that's always something I've struggled with lately, but it doesn't. Yeah, it's. Um, thirdly, um, I could have. I don't know. Yeah, there's qu probably a ton of things that I could have done. Anyway, don't forget to use spells. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the. And yeah, I think. I think that's pretty much everything, other than maybe like jump spells. Um, don't use them too late. But if you can get to the core with wall breakers, then you should do that and save the jump spell to get out of the core. So, hopefully, I can do better in the next video. So, see you guys next time. Oh, my God.